the 6th of October 2023. We will begin the program by inviting our dignitaries onto the dais. So I'd like to request Chief Guest of today's program and our director, Dr. K. Sami Reddy, sir. HRD and Academics Chairman and Head School of Atmospheric Space Management, Dr. Ajay Kumar Singh, sir. Chief Finance and Accounts Officer, as well as Course Director of this training program, Mr. Oh, Sunil yeah. Kumar Das, sir. All the course school directors, Dr. H. M. Mali, sir, and Sri Ravi Kumar, sir, to place the dais, please. उसमें माइक्रोफोन लगा रखे ना उन्होंने ये लगा रखे ना तो उसमें ऑप्शन में करो माइक्रोफोन यहाँ पे वो बना हुआ ना म्यूट मैंने कर लिया हेडसेट तो आ गया मेरे हेडफोन में घर वाला जला दीजिए सुप्रीम कैन यू प्लीज म्यूट द पार्टिसिपेंट्स म्यूट ऑल Moving on, now it's time for official inaugural of the training program with divine blessings. As we all know, light, a symbol of brightness and prosperity, the lamp of knowledge and wisdom to dispel the ignorance and darkness. With the same thought and positivity, and to make this evening a blessed one, I request all our dignitaries on the dais to come forward for the lightning of families. विंडोज जैसे हेलो invocation song which we would like to share with you all on this important occasion so i request our technical team to play the tracks please सुखद प्रदीप हंस भारत की विधन भारत की 
Thank you, sir. Friends, we have three stalwarts in their respective fields as our guests of honor who are joined with us uh, virtually, sir. 
On behalf of the ICR Niazam and the organizing team, I once again welcome you all uh, to this training program. Thank you for your time and the basis presence today, and we move forward for your physical presence at our institute sometime soon. Now it's time to hear from our course director and chief finance and accounts officer, officer Dr. Sunil Kumar Dasar. And but let me give you a brief introduction of him before he comes for the brief uh, introduction of the training program. So Dr. Sunil Kumar Das is a PhD in commerce from Uttar University, Odisha. He has worked as co-principal investigator in five number of research projects and conducted 13 national level training programs and 80 training sessions and special lectures in the area of actual accounting, pension and retirement benefits, national pension system, GFR, GST, PFMS, Entrepreneurship Development Program, Startup Agri Business Incubation Program, Preventive Vigilance, and many other uh, special lectures. He has also been awarded with ICR Cash Award Scheme in 2018, which has been decorated for the excellent work in the administrative and finance field of ICAR. He is a ICAR certified master trainer for this uh, special training programs. He has published 15 research papers and five technical bulletins in this area, and also authored two books on research book on actual accounting for administrative and finance personnel, and another one new tech training modules for administrative and finance staff of ICAR. With this brief introduction, I'd like to request Dr. S.K. Das, who's the course director, for providing a brief overview of this near about three months long training program, as well as introducing our three guests of honor to this gathering. So please. Uh, most respected uh, director of the institute, uh, Dr. K. Samir Adiji, uh, respected head and chairman, HRD Sir, Dr. K. Singh Sir, and respected guest of honor students, Sri S. K. Pathak Sir, senior counselor, IBRI Ijat Nagar. Sri Rajiv Dal sir, Joint Secretary, Administrative and Technical Service, ICR headquarters. Sri Gidi Verma sir, Senior Controller, IRI, New Delhi. Respected seniors, heads, presents at this auditorium, and my dear friends and colleagues. Those who have joined this program online and offline more. At the very outset, once again, I would like to extend my hearty welcome to all of you to this pre examination training program for the Limited departmental examination on audit and accounts. Just to make it clear, some of our staffs of the background LDC, UDC, assistant, PA, Steno, they will appear one examination. And this examination has been circulated by ICR headquarters. So this exam examination will be conducted maybe after two months, three months, that we do not know. Only modifications must come from ICR side that this examination is to be conducted and these are the eligible persons. And with that instruction, it has been mentioned that respective institutes where eligible candidates are there for appearing this examination, they may conduct some sessions for them for their respective candidates. Means if NIS and Baramati is having some candidates all appearing this examination, so NIS and Baramati, the account officer, administrative officer, they may conduct the session departmentally for the staff of 
We have taken the responsibility for conducting this training for across the country. Means for this examination, this training is meant for all the eligible participants for all the ICR institutes. That means this is a national program where 50 online sessions will be conducted. One session per day. And the timing will be 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And this, during this session, will be following the measure. And the timing will be imparted through Zoom platform, Google group, WhatsApp group, Google Classroom also. That means these are the pedagogy. We are going to during the training program. And there are around 30 resource persons, those who will be involved in this program. Within the outside system, within the ICR system, and outside the ICR system also. So there are around 30 resource persons, subject matter experts, master trainers, those who will be imparting training to our participants. To me, we have come together, all the trainers, all the resource persons, all the subject matter experts, we have come and we have formed like a relay race. Means we know within ourselves, among ourselves, what is our strength, what is our weakness. Means who will be the fast runner, who will be the slow, and who is going to hand over the stick, and who is supposed to hold the stick for some time, and who will pass the stick immediately. That we among the group, we know. So likewise, the sessions are very well crafted, very well created, very well managed, considering the syllabus of the examination in view. We are, we are not going to conduct the training program beyond the syllabus. Whatever the syllabus prescribed for this examination, this syllabus has to be prescribed by the ICR headquarters. There is no doubt. And we, the expert, we, the master trainer, we, the resource person, we, the subject matter specialist, we will stick to the syllabus only. And we have, we, this is the inaugural day. From tomorrow onwards, our first session will be started and our last session will be on 6th of October. So with this platform, I will uh, rip up, appeal, I will request to all the training, all the candidates, to please have patience. Don't be hurry. You have patience. We'll cover everything on the aspect, everything of the training program. So you may be knowing for giving one session of 40 minutes, yes, 60 minutes, we will have to study also three hours, four hours. So delivering a session on a subject is not an easy task. Still, we have requested all our resource person, all our subject matter specialist, they, will, they have joined hand together for smoothly conducting these huge targets and this, uh, if you consider regarding the economics, this land, labor, capital, organization, these four are factors of production, land, labor, capital, organization. So in our organization, be it the scientists, administrative personnel, supporting personnel, these all are coming under labor. So that means if the performance, efficiency, capacity of our manpower will be improved. So there will be no doubt, there is no doubt that the efficiency of the organization will be improved. With this, I once again welcome all the guests of honors. And uh, uh, one more thing, sir, here uh, there are uh, two till dates. There are 303 candidates have applied for this program, 303. 303 candidates have registered for this training program. A number of institutes, more than 70 or 80, they are, that I will show you at the time of the closing of the program. And 
this out of the 303 candidates, 65 percent is belong to male category, 35 percent is are female candidates. Again, out of the 303 candidates, 66 percent is are open there. They have not attended any training program, any administrative or finance training program earlier. They have, I, uh, we have asked them whether you have appeared, whether you have attended any training program earlier before this. So 66 percent of people have told that no, they have not appeared any training program. Only 34 percent of people have stated that yeah, they have attended some of the with this, I am honored and grateful and privileged to welcome Sri S.K. Patak sir. S.K. Patak sir, who is the senior computer in the Indian Veterinary Research Institute, Ijat Nagar. There is no doubt that he is one of the very, very strong pillars of the ICR system so far as the ICR finance is concerned. His qualification is Master in Financial Management and he's an associate member of Cost and Management Accountants. That means he has completed his first degree within the service career itself. He has joined as FAO financial Accounting officer in the year 1995 at CPA Mumbai. And during his service career, he had served many big, big institutes of ICR, like ICR NAM, ICR headquarters. And for so many years, he was also with ICR, ICR headquarters. And I am not the right person to assess his competency or caliber, but something uh, something I have to say that is really his performance in the area of budgeting, accounting, investment, and other financial matters in ICR is very, very significant. And he's a very good orator. We have learned from him, and he has been conducting various trainings during his tenure. He's a very good orator. There is no doubt about this. So with this, sir, I am delighted to welcome you on this training program. And now, sir, I would like to request you to give your remarks on this occasion. Now it is over to Patek, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Das. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, am I audible? Yeah. Uh, because the uh, sound quality is a bit poor, uh, but anyway. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for this introduction. Uh, this much is not required. Actually, we all are in a same family. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, the organization, Bharabhati Institution. And uh, this is the first initiative, I think, for the administrative and finance personal to be trained there. And uh, my sincere regard to the director, sir, who has permitted you to go for this uh, marathon series of the training. So I think this is uh, one of the longest uh, uh, period of training conducted by any institute. Of course, in the norm, we used to be conducted for the forecast training programs, but that was different. But uh, this kind of training uh, might be very unique uh, the way. Second thing is that you have rightly said uh, that the capacity building uh, with the career promotion, that is uh, always better. And that is missing in our uh, finance and administrative cadre actually. But here I am seeing that uh, somebody has to write examination for uh, their appointment in the career. And for that, support system is ready and the organization is devoting time uh, to train them. The reason is that uh, every institution is facing now acute shortage of trained people. Uh, so, like impaired asset in account, we say you might have so many assets, but if these are impaired, it means it is useless. It will simply increase your carrying cost of the organization. So, that way, uh, human resource is also like that only. If it is uh, properly used and if they are properly trained, they really they are assets. Otherwise, uh, it is very difficult. 
to manage uh, that uh, group also. Second thing is that uh, the lower chunk in the finance category, if you see that is AF and AO. So many vacancies are lying. And, uh, we are not finding a suitable person. Officers, they are not eligible, they are not available. So for that, ICR has taken big initiative to conduct audit and accounts examination. That is a qualifying examination. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, within the ICR uh, officials, and to see the beauty of this examination that uh, LDC, UDC, STNO, PA, assistants, all are eligible. So it is very, very open uh, source of uh, things that anyone can appear in that. And if you click, if you clear, uh, straight away you will go to the group B uh, officer post. So it's a very, very, very big opportunities. At the same time, I would like to welcome uh, our dear participants also who have joined online. More than 300 uh, candidates uh, are there. So every day, one and uh, uh, half hour or uh, 1.15 hour, you or what you have uh, uh, written there, that 4 to 5.25 or something like that. So this much, uh, definitely this much time can be devoted for the career of employment. At the same time, I would like to say that uh, the managing such a long uh, kind of uh, training uh, may be some difficult. Uh, and uh, one good initiative also you have taken. And uh, for that also I congratulate and I thank uh, to the director that he has permitted you uh, to make it online and uh, it should be records should be available so that uh, officials are uh, serving in the remote areas, particularly in hill areas where uh, uh, there is a problem of connectivity. So they can see, they can refer it and they can will prepare. So with these words, uh, my all the best for a good uh, and uh, smooth conduct of these training programs. And uh, I also think that all resource persons are highly competent to deal with the subjects. But the only thing is that uh, you have to uh, go by that line only. This is nothing that uh, we will tell you the question and then I will answer it. It's nothing like that. Resource persons will definitely inside you. They will definitely trigger you how to read it and how to go about. And if there is any confusion in between, you are free to ask them any question or to approach it. So that will be the fruitful result. And uh, wish you all the best. And let us see how this program is going. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your inspirational words. And thank you for your support and encouragement. So I think you will be one of the best uh, resource person uh, for the trainees for days to come. With this, I am happy. I am honored to welcome Sri Rajiv Lal, sir, who is the Joint Secretary, Administrative and Technical Services at ICR headquarters. So really, there is no iota of doubt that he is a very strong pillar of the ICR system. The administrative activities, technical services activities also are being looked after by Rajiv Rajsar. He joined in the council service very long back. And he was the topper in his batch, combined camera, actually, uh, uh, combined camera examination, AOFA examinations. It, it was there, it is there also. And during his batch, he was the topper. And his background is BSc honors in physics, MBA in public management. From MDI Durga and from George University's Washington. Actually, he has mentioned something means in his biodata, but I have omitted to write, but I feel something has to be told that he has secured that division mark in his matriculation. That he has mentioned to write, but I have wrongly omitted, but again, I think no, it should. He has written me something is there. That means he wants to tell that 
Irrespective of your percentage of mark, irrespective of your means uh, your first class or second class, whatever it may be, if you want, you can achieve to the pinnacle of glory. There is no doubt. You may be a highest officer, you may be a general secretary, you know, so he has proved that. So, and with that, he is also NPSC scholar, and he had his education from Patna and New Delhi. He has been a regular panelist in All India Radio and Doordarshan on human resources topic and personal matters. And he has delivered a talk in Will in China on challenges to agriculture manpower in developing countries. He has rendered 27 years of service in ICS in different capacities as administrative officer, senior administrative officer, joint director, and presently and joint secretary. And today he is joint secretary and he will be holding this position for a decade. Means he will be acting as joint secretary for a 10 years. That means so many things, so many changes, so many reformations has to be taken place during his tenure. He has written a book on the interview, a very success story. And presently, that he is a member of a very important committee, that right sizing committee. Everybody knows all the administrative means all the permanent staff may be knowing. Sir, really I am honored, really I am happy, really I am privileged to welcome you to this training program. You have circulated to conduct the examination for limited departmental examination for the staff. You we took that stick from your hands. Not with your permission, without your permission, just we, we have taken the stick and we will be going again after conducting the examination. Again, we will hand over the stick to you. So that is the real areas we are performing. Again, finally, you will conduct the examination under your supervision, under your guidance, and under your control, the examination will be conducted. And finally, the staff will be reported at the respective ICR. Yes, okay, sir. Yes, sir. I welcome you to this program. And now I request you to give your valuable comments, valuable suggestions on this program. Now it is to Rajiv Bal, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon to all. Uh, I thank Dr. K. Samireddy, Director NAISM Baramati, Sri Sunil Kumar Dasji, the course director, all the resource persons and the participants. It's a matter of great pride that uh, NAISM has taken initiative in uh, conducting this training program for the limited departmental exam of AFU. Friends, we all know that uh, things had been uh, in a mode of pause for quite time in ICAR. The last exam was conducted in 2014. So after a gap of nine years, we have been again conducting the exam. It's a golden opportunity for the participants, whether it's LDC, UDC, whatsoever, junior, senior, PA, because the number of posts this time is 52. And probably next three months will determine whether you jump from the post of LDC, UDC assistant directly to the post of AFU. So those who does it finally, fantastic. Congratulations in advance. And those who could not make it, who are short of it, don't be disheartened. You have enriched your knowledge by this three month long training. I again thank Dr. Reddy and his entire team for uh, starting this training program. And the participants, they are very new to the system. They do not uh, know exactly the papers, the previous year papers. The exam conducted in 2014 and 2008-9 
is also not available with many of them. So with uh, the details, the resource material, and the clarity that the resource persons will bring, I am hopeful that the participants will be engaged. I wish you all the best and to the organizations and Dr. Reddy and his team a uh, good success ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your very nice words. Now, I would like to welcome Sri Giri Burma, sir, Senior Controller, IRA, New Delhi. He has joined ICR service in the year 1988 as finance and account officer, and he was the FO in the first batch. His background is commerce background, degree of income from Agra University, and PCDFM, promoted to senior FO in the year 1995, chief FO in the year 2005, controller in the year two, uh, 2010, and senior controller August 22. Yes, sir, various ICR institutes such as CTRI, CRG, IAPR, NAR, NDRI, etc. He was also serving at NAR and during his tenure at NAR, he was also one of the very good trainer for the training. And in the year 2004, he was deputed to Malaysia and Singapore for a foreign program in the area of HRM through Iski Hyderabad. He was nominated by the Honorable DG ICR for member in a prestigious committee, peer review committee of ICR to review the ICR funding to various state agricultural university to ensure proper utilization of the fund. And really, he is a very senior person in our finance system. He is also one of a very strong pillar in our system. So now I request Sri Burma sir to give his comments on this occasion. Now it is over to Burma sir, please. Thank you very much, uh, Dasa, for the good words spoken about me. And good afternoon to everyone. Uh, Dr. S uh, Dr. K. Sami Reddy, Director NIASM, Baramati, Dr. S. K. Das, CFAO, and the course director of this program, Dr. Hanumant M. Halli, Dr. Alija Pradhan, Dr. K. Ravi Kumar, Sri Rajiv Lal, Joint Secretary, and Sri S.K. Patak, Sri Controller, and uh, dear participants. Uh, first of all, let me uh, thank the ICR authorities who have planned to conduct this audit account ex examination after a very long period. As I remember, this examination was not conducted more than last 10 years. And as a result, there was uh, huge uh, vacancies for the post of AFNDOs. And there are many institutes where the post of AFNDOs and finance account officers were not filled up and they are vacant. And the work is being carried out with the help of scientific st staffs. Mm -hmm. So the ICR authorities are very uh, thankful and uh, let us be very thankful to them. And at the same time, I would also uh, thank uh, Director NISM Baramati and his team, uh, Dr. S.K. Das, CFAO and course director, he's the main person behind this program uh, uh, who have taken up this responsibility without any that one and voluntarily they have taken up and they have came up for taking up this responsibility of uh, designing that this program of this pre exam training program for audit and accounts examination. Uh, let me say friends, this exam is very, very important because it will decide the career of a person because just rightly said by Raju Lalji and SK Pataji, 
कि इट विल डिसाइड द कैरियर ऑफ ए पर्सन हु जस्ट ज्वाइन एज एल टी सी और यूडीसी और असिस्टेंट एंड दे विल क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जामिनेशन दे विल बिकम ए एफ एंड 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 जस्ट डॉक्टर दास वॉज टेलिंग देर इज यूज पार्टिसिपेशन अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री it means if suppose 50% percent persons are passed out with this examination at least icr will get 100 uh, finance officers so this is very good opportunity uh, for the participants and uh, i would request them to take full benefit to uh, to benefit of this program or uh, i counsel it all of them to, uh, and uh, for this and i wish for the great success in the examination uh, at the end best of luck to the course directors master trainers and participants of this training program thank you very much thank you so much sir for your wonderful remarks and once again thanks to all our honorable guests of honor for their presence today Sir, your encouragement and support for our training program is appreciated from us. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sunil Kumar Das, sir, for providing such comprehensive overview of the overall training program and introducing our guests of honor. Now it's time to listen from our HRD and the Academy's chairman, Dr. Ajay Kumar Singh, sir, sir, for your remarks. मुख्यमंत्री <laughs> participants of this uh, almost two and half months long training program on uh, the examination training for limited uh, department of audit and uh, on examination so i welcome you all to this uh, major program and, uh, and also i welcome some very distinguished uh, guests for the guest of honor uh, वेरी All those uh, wants to participate or uh, wants to appear in that uh, exam for uh, assistant uh, finance and accounts officer. So that's going to be held in maybe just uh, three four months or so. So this uh, training program will be very useful for us there. And we will learn from there. So in uh, this training program we have very good. Uh, all uh, you know that we have around the thirty resource persons and. Uh, Also, so we have made a specialist approach uh, for this finance uh, and background of the economy. And uh, all this training program will be conducted uh, will uh, during this training program uh, that will be covered all uh, syllabus for that uh, exam. And uh, as you already said, as told me, told me that uh, about three hundred three participants already registered. For this online uh, training program, and uh, this is a very good uh, number. And maybe in maybe uh, in couple of months we will see some more participants. Participants will join online. And uh, so here are three main, we uh, say key persons like uh, Dr. S. K. Parasar, okay, then we see the Rajivar and uh, Vidhi Karma. So in his remarks, uh, we that they told that. Uh, This training program will be very useful uh, for all uh, them, the the participants, and uh, so as a HRD coordinator, HRD chairman, I personally I thank uh, our director sir for uh, taking the initiative to organize this uh, very important uh, online training program, the three big Amazon training. 
Thank you so much, sir. Friends, this event would not have been possible without the support and guidance of our chief guest of today's program and director of our institute, Dr. K. Sami Nani, sir. Sir, it's time to listen from you about the training program. राजीवर Our post director, Sri, and also is approved trainer, trainer of the trainees, Sri S K Dharji, our C F O, our uh, H R D member, Sir Dr K K Singh, and of course our uh, members of the H R D member secretary, Dr Haldi, and of course our uh, directors, Dr Alija and Dr Ravi Kumar, my own senior colleagues, heads of the divisions from this, heads of the schools from my institute. My dear scientists and all administrative accounts officers and all our uh, contracts, our RIA, SRA, SIP uh, employees, and most importantly, around three two hundred fifty uh, trainees, those who are attending online at present, and uh, I thank all of them actually for participating in this. If we see actually when Dr. Das came to me, he asked me about conducting this training program. First, I was actually reluctant because uh, I am having this is the second time I am organizing as a director, which is not uh, scientific generally. Because uh, when I was the acting director at Kriya Hyderabad in 2018, I have organized one uh, official language workshop, Hindi workshop. That is also actually apart from away from our uh, scientific generally we don't. But uh, there was a tremendous response, at least uh, 160. Delegates from different ICR institutes and ICR uh, head office they attended, including at that time our chief guest and very many conferences were attended by chief guest was in the inauguration of Rajiv Sundaram and uh, very many Dr. Rao sir he attended secretary ICR at that time. So after seeing that experience, I thought that okay, it is conducted and he thought that is the first time ICR is conducting this examination. I am very happy because uh, I am happy that since I am accepted and that is showing here. Around three hundred and three trainees actually registered for this. That shows the importance of this course. There is this uh, course, as well as the upper guests of honor also. They told that it is the first time there is such a course that is being conducted in ICR. Nevertheless, whether it is the ICR is ICR, and I think this course is very very useful to all of you. So just uh, after going that uh, as the S K class, just I was going through what is the last level and other things on the same day. And I said by Rajiv Gandhi is the proof that uh, when Sri G P Sharma was the director of finance at I C R at that time that uh, revised score syllabus was given for the exam is there that I mean it's uh, 2013-14 and today this syllabus is released on 15th June 2022. I think after that only we have planned this uh, training. But uh, I, I actually I am not a person to speak about the rules and regulations, other things. But only thing I was going through the syllabus of 2013-14, and the syllabus of today. What is the importance for all these things? Actually, four, four, five items are there. Four items are the same. That is, is this is draft writing in Hindi, English, uh, financing and account rules and regulations, as well as service rules, three period practices, practicals. 
as well as the auditing, which is very, very important. These are very common. But one syllabus that added in these, these are general knowledge. Actually, general knowledge was not there in 2013. But today's syllabus, it is there. Just I, I, I was going through what is the general knowledge. General knowledge is a very, very big subject. It's very, very important. See, India, last year, particularly the present government after taking over, there is a lot of change in the, our uh, financial situation. Particularly related to the upgradation ka benefit jitne bhi chhatras ho sabhi baat kar alag you to alag us good kar sabhi ek exam ko tera kitna tough bana raha hai is mein actually ye to important cheez hai ye to actually good governance Nowadays, everybody day to day of day in our uh, prime minister and other people they speak about the good governance. Good governance is simple. It is a one is the transparency, accountability, and the corruption thing. Really, I appreciate all entire our administrative and the accounts and finance process. Uh, they are all in place of ICR. Really, we our system is so transparent, so accountability. And the third is, I don't want to mention actually in the We have made such a great system in ICR and thankful to our DZ, our DDGs, all those who are working like Rajiv Raji and JP Shemu, who are uh, finance advisors at ICR. Really, they have made a very, very good system. Now, actually, directors, after the introduction of the EAPs, may have become very easy to for us. And if there is any doubt, may simulate that clarifying clarify approval. It is a very, very good. And good governance, and I request all the course, uh, you know, what we call teachers or the trainers, to give the more emphasis on the good uh, of governance, because this is actually latest changes are there. We see changes syllabus, and uh, another important thing is, uh, as the director, we are the scientists. Of course, scientists to become the director, we always think that any which is starting from LDC or the assistants or the PA, whatever it may be, up to the uh, highest level. We want always they should have a positive attitude of interpretation of the rule. And nowadays, actually, everything all of you know, Rajiv Ganji, those are the efforts, all of you know the finance they are raising every quarter wise. And we have to utilize the quarter wise and the target set for each and every quarter. And if we don't purchase or they don't spend money, utilize money, they will not give the money. Actually, they may reduce our budget. We will not give which they may reduce. So under this pressure. If we have to utilize budget properly, whatever the proposals that are there, if we have positive thinking that the positive attitude is not there from the particularly accounts and finance and also auditors as well as the our administration, then it's very, very difficult to run the system and the, uh, that research will suffer. So this is very, very important. I'm not telling this do not have, but there is a need to press for this. If there is a few to two, three percent also, those are not having that type of means that we should be up. Because the assistants are the PAs, are the LDs, UDs, and others, they become officers. The officers should have always passed the office so that they, they can guide the vendor, yeah, our the, the assistants, so that we can utilize properly and no research, no institute, ICR institute, etc. That is the one point I, I request on the trainers to emphasis for that. And of course, uh, Rajiv Rali recently he took a class for me because I attended one uh, executive development program. For the leadership development at NARM, that is the EDP composite for new all directors. So he put actually two, three very points. Very, very important point is that always if we see the file, he told that before starting the process itself, purchase process itself, they write approve and sanction. Some amount, what is the intent that they will do some estimated task. For example, Aliza is given pressure plate operator, she gives some 47 lakhs. And immediately they write on the file uh, approve and sanction. I was doing actually right that always I am approving, not sanctioning at that level. And Rajiv Lal very clearly told that uh, in the classes also, you should not actually sanction at that time. Until unless everything that gym process is completes, and we know the actual price of that, then only we should go for the sanction. So this, but most of the time, not only here, in my, in my, I was the FTR also a acting director. In five, it became a routine. They write it there, what is that approve and sanction. 
accord the approval and uh, administrative approval as well as the administrative sanction for that. So these are the things actually there are many, many changes are there. We should uh, uh, express for that. And of course, a lot of changes happened in ICR system also. PFM is now people are talking about this PSA and other things. So these all new systems actually they should be thorough in the syllabus. And even I asking you, rather asking the questions while in the examination about the world syllabus, whatever the changes that have happened in three years in ICR system and the government opinion, better to press for them so that they, they the training also updated. Knowledge will be updated. They will prepare themselves for examination so that they can they get opportunity to update their knowledge about the, these changes in the ISS. And derivation of powers also. Actually, Dr. G. P. Shemarji, last uh, director conference, he has given a complete full page one and a half per lecture on derivation of powers. Now, so many powers are given to the directors. Very few powers are actually, I am thankful to our DG, President DG, uh, Patak Sahab, who is having a very, very positive approach. And he has given almost all. Powers to the director soon. So that uh, actually all these uh, changes to teach to the assistants on the that lower stuff, so that they get uh, acquainted about all these powers. When they become the officers, it will be they will be actually very easy to work. So with the positive uh, framework of mind, they can work and help the scientists in uh, purchasing other things so that uh, uh, we can take the research forward. And uh, other things are taxes and also a lot of changes are there. One thing I want to mention actually, income tax rules every year they are changing. Now everything, we pay identification, we pay everything have come up. Taxes system now we are having like only one tax, that's the GST. In case earlier we were having about the other things, uh, sales taxes, service taxes, are there, but all have gone. Now GST have gone. But all other institutes we are having the sober stuff, still we are hiding it, uh, this CA. For filing of our uh, institute, uh, uh, this uh, uh, income tax returns. So, this, if we have a better, actually able, uh, scale manpower, that we can avoid, that uh, sometimes we can avoid. So, what I feel. So, if we make them effective about the new income tax rules as well as the new GST rules, we can overcome, we can save institutes some of the budgets so that that budget can be utilized for other purposes. This is one of the things I want to. Uh, emphasize that. And of course, this uh, external aid project also, there is a lot of change in the uh, this particular rules and regulations of uh, uh, contractual as well as the consultancy projects and collaborative projects. This, of course, your uh, Dr. Das is very, very perfect in that. And we in our institute, we have they are sort of perfectly following that. But still, I feel that because earlier also I worked with uh, Prida and 20 years at uh, IASS Bhopal, there also that we were doing that uh, still some black noise there. Means actually that syllabus and preparation of the table also, that also we take that. And if we see ICR, many of things to not only near some, the percent utilization of budget in case of the external aid project is low. But this year also we have reached actually 900% in almost all institutes institute budget. But only 85 to 9, not only our institute, in many other institutes also, the body place is in uh, external aid project is less. I, I do not know that reasons uh, you may be knowing actually, but uh, that uh, better to have it mentioned that uh, external aid projects rules and uh, that governs, particularly this audit and accounts finance related rules, as well as this uh, revolving fund schemes. Revolving fund scheme also, I request Rajiv Ramji and uh, other our senior controllers, because still they are the very difficult rules to follow. Because uh, I hear any really hope we don't have the uh, revolving fund scheme rules. But uh, I were, we were facing the revolving fund scheme at Prida, where I was the head of the department for uh, 10 years in Division of Resource Management, where we are having a workshop. Workshop means farm implements workshop. There we were, I used to have the revolving fund scheme, but it is very difficult, really. Ultimately, sometimes it has happened our farm owned by farm machinery scientists are there after seeing, seeing that uh, revolving fund scheme rules. They actually always elected to take the work. Because actually, what happened if we want to make a machine, we have to take help of the workshop, is there? But workshop, small, small things we can do. But we have to go to the uh, uh, local fabricators. That local fabricators engaging for making a machine, our own prototype. Really, very, very strict rules are there. Uh, this is the one thing actually I request uh, the, uh, our uh, guest secretary headquarters, IRI, as well as IRI and Rajiv Balji. Even uh, you are the senior most uh, CFP about. And you are also a trainer. You go through that uh, uh, revolving fund scheme rules and educate them so that we can easily interpret and we can encourage the people to take the revolving fund schemes rules. 
because in our IRA also actually IRA and ESL program is going to start here. In that one one part is that uh, experiential learning for the BS agriculture that is there. In that also, I think they will give now 30, 40 lakhs to each uh, academic institute where, where this program is there. There we have to develop one revolving fund scheme. For that also, it will be helpful so that uh, you enlighten the, our whatever trainees are there. We emphasize that it is better to uh, clear them, we simplify them so that we can easily interpret and encourage the scientists to take these revolving fund schemes because this is very, very one of the important, I find it as a uh, revenue generation. And this was the revenue generation of the institute. This is the one thing. And of course, what is budget place and other things are known. Now, gem, uh, even scientists now, we have got uh, uh, very good uh, understanding about gem. Initially, we were not knowing, but now that I request, I have read, I, I have told, there's only 44 pages document is there on gem. I have read the entire thing when I was the acting director of the career, because that was introduced at that time very recent. At that time, it was the new one, recent. So this area, I'm very happy to inform our Rajiv Ji and other senior controllers and all of you. Yeah, we have everything is we are passing to the gym. That is 100% passing to gym. But sometimes it is not available. So we are going for the rule 154 or the 155. And sometimes it is a urgent in nature. Very few cases we are going for gym. So we are uh, this uh, institute is 100% actually gym. That is a very good thing. Uh, so with this actually, I was going through better to conduct the practicals more. Like any silver section in theory, practicals are very, very important. Give them some case studies like in Aram, they conduct and solve them. The online only, there is no problem. And so that they can come up with the interpretation of the rule so that they are enlightened their knowledge. That is very practical. Emphasis should be given for practice. And some mock tests also we can conduct on the online only. And if we see now, uh, I do not know how many of you are having the 10th uh, class students from the CBSC schools. They have introduced one uh, subject called the HARS, the name itself HARS, H O T S. I, I art of thinking sums. I art of thinking sums. Actually, this is very, very interesting. In that, that is not given in book any of the subject, but they give some arts to questions in the Actually, that makes the difference whether a completely A grade, which 10 out of 10, the women uh, children are getting, and of course, 9.5, 9.6, the women getting. Those who attend that arts, actually, they will get the higher, highest marks. So, this is a very, very important mark test, factor sum, I art of thinking questions. So practicals and uh, case studies that better to give them so that uh, they will get knowledge, not only for the examination, examination, of course, 50% marks that is there, I have gone through this, and some 60% marks if come again, they repeat like that is there, that they will get. But the only thing is after becoming actually officers, they work properly, and positive opportunities, all these things, applications are very, very important. I request not only the course director, but also other resource persons, to whatever I mentioned, and where I am not, I actually, I feel some difficulties wherever that is there, and some clarifications I have emphasized that points, so that uh, you can also take them the courses, courses, so that in every ICR institute, wherever they are posted, we are telling that 100 officers will be recruited if they pass the examination. It's very good that all 100 officers, if we make them a positive approach to it, then nothing uh, ICR always will go ahead, and with that will be helpful for so, uh, me also. Other directors also, and also all scientists of the ICR, be taking up their research in, uh, without any difficulty. So with this, uh, with this, I would like to thank our uh, guests of honor, Sandra Three, Varmaji, Patakji, as well as Rajiv Ji. I'm thankful to my own post director and post co directors and HRD. I'm also thankful to all of you, my uh, staff of the institute. I'm also thankful to all those who registered. As expected, I hope they will get benefit out of this uh, link. And they, then they will get the post with the They are some conducted. So we have passed and we have got job like that. That the impression will be developed in their minds. So our institute will be uh, remembered in their minds. That is a very good thing. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks. Sir, thank you so much for emphasizing certain key accounts and finance related matters in such an explicit and enduring way. And also we assure you that whatever suggestions you have mentioned here, including practicals and case studies, we will also take care uh, during the sessions and uh, the course organizing team and the resource person should make sure that these uh, suggestions are taken care of uh, during the sessions. And uh, friends, this uh, uh, training program is not having possible uh, 
um, from uh, various key persons as well as the organizing team and the participants and the guests. But for a formal vote of thanks, I would like to request to Dr. H. N. Mali, sir, who is co-director and noble person of the charity. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, very good evening to all present here and virtually. So it is my time to express my sincere thanks to all. So first of all, first and foremost, I extend my sincere thanks to the most respected director, sir, Dr. K. Ramir, K. Samir Eddy, sir, and our esteemed chief guest of the today's program, sir. We thank. For uh, we thankful to you for accepting our invitation and continuously guiding the team in organizing this program. And next, I would like to express my gratitude to the today's guest of honors, Sri S K Patak sir, D D Varma sir, and Sri Raju Lal sir for accepting our request and sharing their insights with the organizers and the participants. So, which contributed to the great success of this event. Next, uh, I am grateful to the our chairman HRD and academic ICR NISM Dr. E.K. Singh sir for providing wholehearted support and valuable direction throughout the planning and execution of this program. And a special thanks to the most active post director Dr. S.K. Das sir, Chief Finance and Account Officer ICR NISM for his proactive role in formulating the comprehensive training program and providing valuable guidance to the post co directors. Then it brings immense uh, pleasure to witness the enthusiastic participation of the large number of the delegates from various ICR issues of the country. On behalf of ICR NISM, I express my gratitude for your active involvement and also I extend my thanks to the directors of the respective institutions for nominating their participants for this training program. I also take this opportunity to thank our esteemed colleagues at NISM and all the contractual staff, students who have contributed to the success of this inaugural session. Let us not forget the efforts of our supporting staff, HRD team, uh, staff of the director's office and audio visual team for their vital role in organizing this program successfully. And also, once again, I extend my heartfelt thanks to everyone present here online mode and uh, physically and once again i welcome all you for this training program thank you thank you one and all thank you so much sir now we are moving towards the end of the training program and i request everyone to rise for the national anthem Sorry, I'm sorry. Now we officially conclude the inaugural session of the training program. Thank you everyone for your presence and kind support. And I uh, would like to request you all to join for the refreshment outside Africa. Thank you. Thank you.